All right, so we actually have some pretty good plans to move forward. Let's get them rolling. Uh, I do need a few more houses. I'm thinking of starting like another housing area over here. I don't think that'd be a bad idea. I don't like that. I don't like that either. May not really have a choice. This is kind of the one thing that I don't, I'm not super thrilled about with the point system. I do wish there were more points and I do kind of think there is a plan for more points. Uh, more points to place before the house goes up, you know what I mean? I think that would be good. But yeah, now we've got a weaver. Uh, you know what? While we have all of the stuff, we might as well build before things go to heck. So let's go uh, industrial-wise. Let's go with a malt house. Let's build another road. And then we'll build a malt house. What is the, how big is the brewery? Brewery, brewery. There we go. <clears throat> Stellar Monarch 2, oh nice. I don't know if Stellar Monarch 2 is on uh, Nexus, to be honest with you. No idea. Go ahead and pump that up. Structure. Oh, wow. They're cranking that out, aren't they? So, my only fear with so many people coming in is that we may end up having a labor, um, a shortage. A shortage occur. Which, I mean, oh no, we have a shortage, but it may end up being a little bit detrimental, too. Holy cow, we just really just cranked out everything, didn't we? Well, then, we might as well look at a church. Oh, you know what? This is not the King's Road. We shall have the church in the center of town. And then we can erase this. Oh, wow. That Okay, I forgot about that. It's good. We're fine. No worries. I meant to do that. I know what I'm about. Except for not really. Uh, supplies. Can I just, like, not have you there anymore? There's nothing there. Okay. Okay. Well, we have a ton more houses now. And we have a ton more workers now. Please don't say my whole computer crashed. No! Okay, good. My PC froze for a second. Uh, about lost my mind. About lost it. All right. Well, we have more than enough for a weaver's workshop, a brewery, malt shop, and more people. 
We only have one barley. How long until... Ninety-five days. We probably could go ahead and aim for another firewood. Actually, you know what? It's June. We've got some time. Did you quick save in case of a crash? The game is not save compatible. There is no saving in the demo. Just as an FYI for those of you playing, there is no save capability in this game. <clears throat> so yeah, if the game crashes, I'm screwed. But it's all fine. I'm not worried. Lawhendorf. Get in here. It's charge time. Uh, there are no development points available in this either. Uh, also, Lahendorf is really... Um, Havoksburg. Okay, what are we missing here? We're missing two types of food. We're missing entertainment as well. A new message. In the region of Havoksburg, you are hereby on omission of debt for the lands in which the Royal Crown has granted stewardship to the Honorable Greg. I forgot to name myself. A tax is to be levied upon the land to be paid in precious wealth and labor. Failure to submit payment will find the lands forfeit the governance under the stewards and returned to the crown. Son of a biscuit. All right, we now have to worry about taxation. Well, first let's get a tavern. I am interested in how effective this is or is not. The trading post. Oh, hey, here's how I can name people. Who wants a name? Who wants a name? Anyone? If you want a name, just let me know. I will name you. They're supposed to start wrapping up soon. That's a freaking crap ton of flax. I need another granary. Desperately. And then we have to worry about a uh, bailey wall, a manor house, a gatehouse, a tax collector. We need a medium village. We're close. I already named you, Wolfie. We need to pay a royal tax of five. That's going to kind of suck. We've got a weaver workshop. 33 days until that's all done. Let's uh, let's stop buying. We'll 
We'll add those people to there when they need to. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a few people. Just like that. That's a little too big of a yard. Although I do think the bigger the yard, the more stuff they can have. So like these guys may not be able to do anything else. <clears throat> but at the same time, this will provide food throughout the winter. Eggs, uh, goat's milk. Uh, we, can, we can plant gardens if we want. Which is also a really cool thing to do. But gardens don't work in the winter, so. I don't know why I'm actually going through the doorways. I can go through anything I want. It's a little bit empty in here. The amount of milkshakes that can and will bring all the boys to the yard. Shoot. <laughs> I mean, is this just not cool? I'm playing a real-time strategy game. Now, admittedly, Anno has this, but not near as well. Uh, not near as well implemented. But I just think this is really cool. <clears throat> Ghost Baron. It's creepy. There we go. All of the flax. All of the barley. <clears throat> Give me all of the malt. Give me all of the beer. Give me all of the tavern. We have 419 gold. Where's my tax collector? More gold is needed. All I need to know is where's the beer and how much is there. Well, there's about to be a significant amount. I feel. We need more workers I know we need more workers. Pantry's empty. That's unacceptable. Get the beer over there to the tavern, right? Yeah. Goat shed. Chicken coop. Okay, come on. Come on. Where's the weaving going? Where's all the stuff? Okay, we have cloth and we have leather. Let's go ahead and get another clothing stall. This a food, there's a clothing stall. Can I designate? Oh, I can't designate. I was hoping I could designate, but I can't. It'll just get built and we'll deal with it as we do. We have 28 ale. There's plenty of ale to go around in ye old tavern. Get the frickin' cloth. Played a little tune for you guys. Okay, so we're making good money. I just need these guys to get... There's so much cloth there. Please don't put...
put cloth here, please. No, you put leather, you dingleberries. No cloth, only leather. Why? Like, I have the... I, I can upgrade them, I just need... Mm. I'm gonna miss my first payment, probably. Because... I need a Fliggin' Flaggin' Medium... What does it take to make a medium village? Medium village. Does anyone know what it takes to make a medium village? I feel like I have a really good village going on here. We have 129 people. There's cloth. There's one. Two. We're about to do it, guys. <clears throat> Whoa. All the oxen don't know where to go! I do want to know what tier 2 means. Oh yeah, those oxen are awesome. They're doing fantastic jobs. We get stuff moved around so much quicker. <gasps> oh snap! Oh, these are- we're gonna start turning them into artisans! Or, uh, whatever that next level is. There we go. There we go. There we are. Awesome. Okay. It'll be a tiny little manor house, but it'll still do its job. We're good there. And you know what? Everyone is surviving through winter. We have loads of supplies. Stocks are... Oh, they're damaged. Couldn't be because we're overflowing. That would be ridiculous to think about. You can't rotate flip symbols. Symbols or when doing tour holds in this instance, you can't change them from vertical to horizontal. How you doing, Mace Man? Yeah, we're upgrading all the plots. I'm fine with that. It's going to generate more tax anyways. And we have loads of chickens and goats. I love it. I do wonder how overpowered that could be. I mean, like if everyone... <clears throat> 137 days. I still can't build a tax collector. It's all the morning, just getting to watch. I was curious how this game is. I'm I'm really enjoying it. We're really enjoying it. I think we have to have our manor house built first before we build uh, anything else. Ooh. We've got the maximum number of people making firewood. So... I think we're okay. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this. And we just got out of winter, so we're really good. Hundred and seventeen days, I think we can do it. All that's required is five gold. We're making loads of re of, go of, of gold in our regional wealth. I know pantry limit reached. I know. I know. I know. There you go. Build it quickly. I tell you what, though. What of you? Am I right? Like... 
I mean, I could, I could probably, I could probably chop some trees down right there. But uh, I think I would, uh, wouldn't mind being like, oh man, what a, what a gorgeous view of my wonderful village. That is a point. I might take some of those trees down. I have ten people, but only five are working, even though there are more work slots. It's a work bug that I think is 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 known. Vitamin. <clears throat> I honestly am not sure if there's anything that can be done about that. Debug boot mode. Make a peasant move them if they're stuck. Try that, maybe. I don't know. Just remember that the game's in, in the, is a demo. <laughs> You're going to hit bugs. Yes, I get it. The storage limit has been reached. I understand. You have no idea how much I understand. I thought we were doing, uh... Some fallow stuff. Letting the frickin' thing rest. How do you open that menu? Sorry, the settings. No problem. I hope it fixed it. The good thing is that uh, my approval is going up. We're doing pretty solid work. Now I want you to get that done because I need tax. I've got two months to build a tax thing. Brilliant. Okay, so policies are locked, unfortunately. Um, but... Wait, do I have to build the tax... <gasps> you build the tax collector inside of here? That's cool. That's a bit unnecessary. This is priority number one, folks. Families are joining. That's awesome news. I don't know why, since we don't have places to be, but okay. Who wants to be a tax collector? So obviously, uh, we don't have retainers. We're not going to be able to, you know, have military and stuff in here. But we could build a watchtower. Seems a little excessive, but at the same time, I really kind of want to build like eight of these. Okay, so now we need to decide where all of our money goes. Uh, we're going to... Tithe 1% to the church. Approval change minus 20%. I think we can handle that. Okay, minus 11%. Good. Uh, we don't have trade taxes or anything like that. General. Okay, cool. All right, so now we should be able to generate taxes. It'll come out and hopefully we'll be able to be able to do that well. We have seven people and we need things uh, to do. Yeah, 1% to the church. Is there conflict in this game? Not for the demo. Uh, not for the demo. So that's why I'm not focusing on it so much. Uh, okay, so what we can do though is we can build a sheep farm, harvest wool from sheep. We need to purchase the sheep, of course. Or we can get some industry going by opening up a mine. And they call it a mine. I don't know if you have to build on the mine. I mean, we could just for like immersion. And have a kingdom of heathens, that's right. Okay, but we have enough influence, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, it's not in there, okay. I wondered if it would be. I was really excited to go over into the next one, but this is a demo. Makes me lose dead. Cool, we finished the mining pit. We can put two people there. 
That's going to get us iron ore. If we go over to the industry side, converts iron ore into iron slabs. And then turns iron slabs and fuel into tools. We'll go there. Thanks for the chat and stream. I'll be playing later and have a better idea what to do. Absolutely, Dad. The noob. Anytime. Happy to do it. Happy to be there for you. Uh, let's go ahead and bring some more people in, shall we? Again, we're trying to kind of break this. And it's only 11 o'clock, so... Hold on, I'm replying to a salty person. When does the demo end? October 10th. Cool. Well, now we can start building that stuff. All right, we have lots of supplies of everything. Leather, cloth, we have a little bit of iron ore. We're not going to worry about that, though. We do have some ale that we could trade, but I'm not going to trade it. Um, we, we are selling flour. We could export cloth. We're going to keep things to a target of about 100. I think that would be good. Uh, and then... I think that's all we're going to do for now until we get people, uh, how people's houses built. Uh, and then upgrades. I don't know what that wood is. Is that something we just can't do yet? I think. Yeah, I think it is, which is fine. Yeah, I think we're good. Does the demo have an end? No, I don't think so. I think it's literally just play until you stop. But look at that. We have 10 days to pay the kingdom. And we can more than pay the tax. So that's not too shabby. We got people joining everything under the sun, which is also nice. We're going to upgrade... That stuff. I wish we could upgrade more. I suppose it really doesn't matter. We do need another storehouse. Nice. Completed the royal tax. Are we doing good with everything else, though? Look at that. 102 eggs, 58 milk. Yeah, I feel like at this point... I mean, we could really just... You know what, let's do a few veggies. Here and there. Like, we could just spend everyone's money and just buy... and really just work through everything. Is there a total loss possibility? Is everyone dies? Absolutely. If you're, uh, you do have sickness or cold and people will die there, uh, you could, uh, I assume you could have rebellion if you didn't get your approval up or everyone dies. Um, lots of stuff. Sirik, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. Like I always say, there are much bigger channels that are covering this game and you guys have chosen to play or to hang around with me and I really do appreciate it. If you want to support the channel, you can totally do that by, uh, Give it an old follow. The screen effect shake when clicking those options is incredibly aggressive. I think it's fun. I think it's just, I mean, you can turn it off if you want to see what it looks like. Just for a... Let's see, where's the window click thingy off? You can do it, but it's, it's, I like it. I like it. Does that end the demo or does it let you keep playing from scratch? Uh, well, I mean, if all your people are dead, then yeah, you're not going to be able to play the demo. 
I mean, you can play as many times as you want to. This isn't like a one and done thing. By any means. Is that the sun? It's both! I do wonder if the more people you have in the farm, if the more productive that this is. Interesting thought. We have plenty of cloth and stuff, so I'm not really concerned about that. Get the bloomery and the smithy rolling so we can start getting more stuff. We have ale. We have eight iron slab, which is great. Villagers are ghosts. They're asking, walking through the doors. Yeah, everything here is is very much. You're going to uh, walk through everything. I don't think I'll ever get over this. I think this is just too cool. Morning, lads. Morning. Morning. I think it's about to start raining. Unless these puddles just spawned out of nowhere. So much you get on this tree. Kind of, uh, uh it's kind of blocking the way. Just a little trim would be nice, thank you. Same with this one up here. Come on, guys. Just a, just a little trim. Someone's gonna poke their eye out or something. Finally, gentlemen, how are we doing? Getting the latest uh, house up, I see. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, pounding the ground there. I hope you're doing a lot of good there. Making it a little bit flatter. I get it, I get it. Yeah, let me let me just inspect this. Ah, ah, there we go. Mm hmm. 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 Well, you're hitting the air. Don't know what that's going to do. Oh wow, a roof appeared. More pounding on the ground. What is up with you guys pounding on the ground? Don't understand it. But it's looking great. I mean, the house looks spectacular. Kind of looks like every single other one over here. But you know, eh, mass production and all. I understand. Alright, toodles. They're ground pounders, of course. Of course, what am I thinking? We have so many places ready to upgrade, it's a bit bonkers. Burger's plot has been fulfilled. Why? You know what? We have enough people. Let's just, let's make a dedicated... We could actually probably, let's see, is our hitching post being used? Not really. I mean, we could still keep it. I guess the next thing would actually be to kind of go into the whole pasture thing. And get a sheep farm going and stuff, because we don't have that right now. What is that noise? Wow, stop it. That's painful. And you know what? I have the perfect place. For El Pasturo. Right here, boys. Animal capacity 42. Perfect. Let's build a sheep farm. Yeah, I think the kicker is that there's just... Like, production is a little too intensely good. If that makes sense. Deep farm. Now, we just need some sheepses. We'll do five. 
A quick reminder to anyone watching, you can totally play this game right now, exclamation point demo. The game is available to play from today until October 10th. As always, if you do play, please, in the name of everything that's holy, give feedback. The developer via Discord or via Twitter, however and wherever you want to give feedback to, uh, I don't know if there is a specific place that Slavic Magic is uh, specifically asking for, but uh, please give your feedback. I mean, he'll be, there's so much data that's going to come in from this demo, like in terms of raw data for sure. But uh, yeah, it will be immensely helpful to him if you actually, actually give feedback. Don't just use this as a chance to play the game and oh, cool, and now I'm done. No, uh, please give actual feedback. Because it's very, very important to the development of this game. We may be hitting the end of our settlement, by the way. We've got 161 total population, which isn't bad. But again, I just don't know what this takes. And we may not be able to get to that point anyways. <laughs> we have plenty of ale. There we go. How are our animals doing? Our animals are doing just dandy. Hunting limit is 30. Let's increase it to 40. I don't think it'll matter. Reminds me of a high-level version of Medieval Dynasty. Or, yeah, and someone else actually mentioned, uh, like, a, a, a much better-looking Banished. And I thought that was also... I think it was actually Chewy. who was a really good guy. You should totally, if you have an opportunity, go check out his channel. Excuse me. Totally go do it. But, uh... Yeah, I thought that was pretty appropriate was uh, a high level banished I mean at this point outside of the sheep we're kind of in a, in a self sustaining phase so at this point of the game you would actually have enough influence to conquer another territory and essentially start over in that territory now if I remember correctly the really cool part is that you could actually trade between the two areas and so what I mean by that is like we have we have berries, wild animals, stone pits, uh, honeybees, and clay. So we don't have honeybees or clay over here. So if we were to take uh, Kochstadt, or Kochstadt, then what would happen is we would be able to get honeybee production up and running, clay deposit up and running, and then we could trade between the two regions. So I could be like, okay, well, I don't, I don't have the capabilities at the moment to bring furs over or leather and cloth and all this high-end stuff you can then port that over to coke stock so they don't have to worry about producing it we're making a ton of production so we could easily export over to here and then once our honeybees and honey are up in production and our clay so we can make pottery and stuff like that we can then import that over to Havocburg. or if we were to go i mean it's the same like that stone uh, I guess that's probably about it, so. But just, it's that idea where at this point, I have 1.4 thousand influence. I would have the capability to take over Kokstadt or take over Leifold, Reichenfurt, uh, Ekshenal. Uh, so, you know, that's kind of your next step. We have a pretty decently well-functioning system at the moment with lots of level twos. Right? I mean, this whole area is almost completely comprised of level twos. This little section area. And then eventually you start increasing them to artisans. This next section is artisan level stuff. So uh, that's obviously not going to be in the demo. But. Oh my word. But yeah, like I said, I think we're just going to try and break it. Let's just, let's go ahead and try and see what it takes to get that rolling. So 
those lucky corner plot people. We're not actually going to do that right there. I think if I were to do that, uh, we would do this. And we may build another market area, by the way, too. Like, that makes a lot more sense. There we go. Go like City Skylines, channeling your inner spiffing Brit. I mean, we might as well, right? I mean, we have the capabilities. The only thing, the only thing I'm really concerned about at this moment is firewood. Right? I mean, we could build a well here. And then we can build another market area. With a food stall. And this is also kind of what I wanted to test out anyways, was the ability for the AI and stuff to, to transport things effectively. Because at this point, that market stall is going to have to find firewood, which is something we're kind of, kind of really need, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we could probably go ahead and build another firewood, a woodcutter lodge. And I can almost guarantee you that Spiffing Brit is, is going to try and exploit this game as much as possible. I would be really surprised if he wasn't. Good lord, there's so much grain, so much barley. To be honest, I don't like Spiffing Brit. The dude is a really solid guy. I have the great pleasure of talking to him. Um often oh my god how many markets do you want to build enough to satisfy the people um what do i want to do over here though that's the real question We're honestly not making that much money. And in fact, I could I could probably satiate the population by taking away the, the silver. We only need an annual royal tax of five. So if I tithe just from the church, we'll be good there. And that would give me, normally that would give me king's favor and influence. Oh no, just influence, right? Yeah. Just influence. And now we've got more people. So we can start bringing in more things as well. A stadium's worth as many as are required. Now, it's also important to note that I am rocking at about 45 frames per second, playing 1440p full screen with all the settings on Ultra. We've got 179 population, so I think we're doing pretty daggum good. Mm. We have loads of tools. Tools are so cheap. Why are they cheap? Not selling any of that stuff. We'll sell some of that. Always willing to sell that stuff. Iron slabs. Let's go ahead and export. Yeah. Firewood two for one. No, I'm good. Cloaks. These are the things that we can't do. And we just simply cannot do them. But I also wonder what my market, market attractiveness. Again, we're, we're in a... Whatever you want to call it. We're in a demo. So that doesn't really matter, but still. Flint or iron tools? I do believe they are iron tools because we have iron slabs. I can't do anything with stone. I just want my sheep. Give me my sheep. Get that going, because the people are going to die. But really, like, okay, cool, we do have a sheep. 
Where's my sheep? Where's my sheep? Go and crank out more. Let's go ahead and knock out another bread. Or you know what? No, let's 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 do some exploitation. Okay. We need another hunting camp. And then I think we have enough. We could probably put some people on some berries or something. Um, you know, that 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 stuff. Look at everything. Look at all of it. Chickens. Pantry limit's been reached. It's always reached. Like, just always. It is never not. We have so much stuff. We have so much. You know what? We have so much. Let's just... Let's follow everything for a couple of years, shall we? Like, for real. Maybe not, maybe not grain or uh, flax. We'll do some extra flax. But everything else, I think we could probably, we could probably chill out. Why are so many people suddenly not able to level up? Okay, I think we're good. No, we're fine. It's February. It's February. They're okay. They are a-okay. Don't you worry about that. No worries. Please don't die on me. We're so far. We're doing so good. We have so much grain. It's unbelievable how much grain we have. We need more workers here. Just keep feeding them to the masses, please. There's a death from cold. Oh no. A lot of people are dying. What? So many people are dying. Is this the end? We lost so many people. Oh no. Burgers, that's what they are. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. That's hilarious. That's fine. They'll all come back. How many uh how many families are uh How many workers are we missing? That's the question. Fine. Fine. Death is a normal part of life. Spartan, how are you? I didn't realize that that was you that said the city skylines thing. I hope you're doing great. We've got, we've got some spaces missing. Just so you guys know. doing fine no more room to produce goods well just heck you know what I'm gonna give you guys something to do let's slap a granary like over here why because I want to yes I know there's so many people who have debt are dead oh no we're getting right back never mind we're fine we're fine and then we're going to upgrade this immediately. I just want to know why the traders aren't really trading all that much. I guess we don't have a lot, do we? What will it take to get a lot of people in here? 
Like, I just wonder if we need more storehouse people. But we have as many storehouse people as we can use. Do we need more livestock? Also, sheep. We should be able to pet the sheep. Hi. Hello, sheepses. Hope you're doing good. Welcome to your pasture. There's plenty of grass to go around for everyone. We're not Welsh, so we will just uh, stay front facing. Nope. Lots and lots of grass. We could probably end up using more oxen, I feel. Are we, are the oxen stuck is the question. They are not. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. All right. We're all good. We actually ha even have some extra people. So that's good. Everyone's doing good up here as well. Procrastinating. Oh no. Linhart. There we go. I really just want to delete this. No reason for it. There we go. We start going into there. That'll start working out well. Uh, food stall is empty. Firewood stall. Clothing stall is just dandy. Hmm, I wonder what we should do. This is a little too steep, so we're probably not going to end up being able to go there. Um, we might scare the animals away, and I don't know that I exactly want to do that. Oh wow, that's a that's that's a hill. So let's go ahead and build a well over here. There we go. See how much this game can handle. Uh, let's actually do this. Nope, I don't want one big house. I want two houses. There we go. There we go. I feel like a tavern should be over here as well, but I don't know that we'll build one. Although, what we probably could do is we could do like a storehouse over here. Kind of have our own separate little economy going. I feel like that's uh, pretty worthwhile. Yeah, we really need to buck up the whole uh, Woodcutter's Lodge thing, man. Let's get rolling. I don't want a whole bunch of people dying. We have 200 people in our little village. Still rocking it strong, man. <clears throat> I don't really feel like we're short on anything but firewood. We've already got one wool, 12 yarn. We got so much iron slab, it's not even funny. We're good. Let's just keep things in uh, times two.
Again, not much else that we can really build. Kind of built it all. Let's do... And then we can have our own little economy over here. Cool beans. Family joins. Perfect. The more families we get in, the more, uh, the quickly, more, the quicker, good lord, these things get built. I really think this is going to start pushing the limits of the game, though. It also looks like we've actually got a really good chance at fulfilling everyone over here as well. Having some separate economies spread out across the region sounds, uh, this sounds like the right thing to do. All right. I love my little tiny place up here. Oh, look at that. Hmm, looks so good. Very cool. How are we doing? We might as well get back into uh, the production here. And I say we just keep this flax. Let's do barley. Switch between flax and barley. Keep that barley and emmer. And we may be choking a little bit. <clears throat> Just maybe choking. Are we filling anything up over here? Public order is at 100%. Approval is at 65. I don't know how people are cold. It's July. They are nonetheless. Pantry limit has been hit. You can totally go over there if you want to. Woodcutter's Lodge. Get you guys filled up. Granary and a logging camp. Go ahead and get that priority number one. And we're running low on wealth. I just don't, I just wonder, like, for the demo purposes, why we aren't, are we just having too many things? If I knock off flour, don't trade. Will they start going after other things? If we, we're not going to full trade, we're not going to trade that. Wonder what it is. About that, that's just not working out. So it is limited by region. Interesting. Okay. We have so much bread. So much bread. I don't have any trading cards, so... Yeah, that's what I just... Because, like, there's so much stuff just right here. In both of those. And it's just like, I, I, I can't... It's impossible for me to bring anything over there. Alright. Shall we build our next expansion? So we've got 60. Let's go uh, right there. Oh, 
Oh, there's a well there. I was like, why can't I go there? There's a very specific reason why. Too steep? Oh, yeah, I agree. I agree. Build ye old tavern, please. I think they're building enough. Pretty well stocked there, doing great. Yeah, can't can't build extra things over there, which is okay. Oh wow, that is too steep. Okay. That's interesting. We're kind of in like a ravine area, so we actually kind of picked up the perfect spot. Time to go into this mode. Just to take a gander around. <laughs> This next level looks really good, though. It's a little bit fancier. I don't know, I just really like it. This is really cool. Nice upgraded space as well for the goats. Or the chickens. We just aren't uh, bringing in much money, so it's not uh, really affecting us in a positive way. It's coming along nicely, it really is. Like I said, I think things are a little bit OP right now. That's kind of the vibe that I got at the moment, which isn't a bad thing. It's a good thing to figure out balance and stuff, but I mean, goodness gracious, we've got 68%, 230 population over across 11 burger. Or, Bugger? Is it burger? Like a burger? Like I'm like an American burger? I need to know. Snaps and shots. Go right next village. I wish I could. a little too high up I mean I, well the thing is is that like I need regional wealth is what I need and it's just not happening at the moment that's a pretty good shot Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, I'd say that's a pretty successful little town we've got going. Oh, I don't want that. I hate that this is so overgrown and they're not bringing anything over here. I don't know what that work area means. I have no idea. So this will this is a really good stress test, I feel, because at the moment, I'm rocking 35 frames a second. 30 to 35 frames a second. If I had a large village like this with a hundred units on top of that, I feel that this wouldn't do very well. And maybe I'm wrong. But uh, I just feel that this would not uh, be super savvy, super efficient. Again, this is a demo. This is very much stress test demo as well. 
And that's exactly what I'm doing, is just building this stuff up. But it's working, I mean, across the board. I don't know what smell means, but we don't have any smell issues. And like I said, like, our public order is perfect. We have cold, that's it. Game looks great though, it does. Apocalypse Shovel, it's been forever since I last heard from you. Hope you're doing well, man. Hope everything's good. This is cool. I didn't notice that there's a stream here. I wonder if we can utilize that in the future. Like, I wonder if we've got like a... A mill? Or if we've got like a major river? Oh, it's so good. I hope you're doing well, man. I really do. We got our sheep. What are you, what are you carrying? Oh, excuse me, excuse, excuse me, excuse me, sir. Hey, hey, hello, hi, hi, hi. Um, is your arm stuck? Is there, is there something going on? Hello, hi. No? Because you look like that, dude, but you got nothing in your arms. Excuse me, would you, would you mind slowing down? It's really annoying that I can't walk as fast as he can. There's the shame lady from Game of Thrones. Excuse me, sir. Is this some sort of condition going on here? Because there appears to be uh, uh, several of you who... You're not carrying anything, man. Freaking me out. Where's my, where's my place? He's the village mime. That's rude. Very nice. Uh, how many more of these do we have to go? Oh, not a ton. This also looks really good. We got a cool little hill here. Like in the future, this could be very much like the richy rich part of town. You know what I mean? I know that some simulation games, lots of moving parts end up being slowed down by all the pathfinding. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I know he's working on stuff on optimization as well. For all of it. I mean, all things considered, it still is working really well. And that is, of course, me on triple time. I think that needs to be stated as well. If I get down to, uh, this is double time, and I'm rocking 35 to 40 frames a second. I really just want to take pictures. Hey, e pictures. Ah, it's hard to see when you don't have a, a mouse. A little bit of rain. Hmm. Food for five months, fuel for two. We've got a lot of fuel, though. Go ahead and bring that up. Woodcutter's Lodge. Bloomery, another Woodcutter's Lodge. I think we're okay. There we go. We're doing fine, guys. Once they get all put up, uh, we can start. I'm not sure where else we could go, because this is still super steep. I feel like this is too steep to handle anything. Oh man, that's a right downpour, isn't it? We got four people. Missing multiple types of food. 
There's like loads of food everywhere. How are you only having one type of food? I find that, oh goodness. A bit unbelievable. There we go. All right. Guys, just a reminder, exclamation point demo. The Mandalords demo is out and about right now for every single one of you to play. Available until October 10th. You can do exactly what I'm doing or you can do something else. We pretty much hit our max, I think, at three hours. I could certainly like fill every single open space. You can also see that this is some pretty buried terrain. It would also be really cool. Oh, I actually think it's... I think it's being affected by the weather. That looks a little bit like it's flooding. And maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. But it certainly looks like it. You can see if it slows down at all. Once the weather passes. Uh oh. Something happened. Maybe not. I like that. It's just a series of giant logs as a bridge. That's not sketch at all. That'll totally hold. Okay, they've got the max amount of ore they can get. <sighs> yeah, at this point, we may just make it through winter and then call it a day. I think that's what we might do. We've been streaming a solid three hours now, which is great. It's also good to know that you can kind of get through this in a, in a three hour stint. I'm actually really satisfied. I would say the, uh, in terms of critiques, we're going to move to a critique phase while we let October, uh, end. But I would say if there was a critique, it's that it's a little too easy. There's a little too many resources that get generated at the moment, unless there's something specific, specifically that Slavic has done to make this demo more enticing or maybe a little bit easier. We have well beyond what we need. I mean, look at all of those resources I have. Two and a half thousand things of flour, 14 pelts, 250 leather, 185 cotton, 194 iron slabs, loads of tools. Uh, we have a good amount of timber, a lot of fuel. We are making so much bread that it's not even funny right and we still have tons of grain loads of flax and barley out the wazoo we have loads of chickens and goats i will say that uh from this aspect i'm actually okay with every so many people having chickens and goats and stuff that part is pretty well balanced i wasn't i was afraid that it wasn't going to be at first uh, and in fact for other people like we don't even have to pay money a lot of these other people can simply have veggie gardens, right? Because it only takes tools for a veggie garden, and we've got 96 tools. Now, one of the other things that I did notice was that uh, it seemed like it seems like trade's a little bit broken, but at the same time, they're just not. I don't know. It just seems like there's an issue with transportation and, a, an, a, and an array of goods. So, for instance, I feel like these guys maybe should go out and get their own resources and they should split it up. Like, I should be able to have more than just 49 leather and 50 uh, whatever's there. I just don't know if there's enough variety and the trading post. This just needs a good bit of work. Um, to really make it efficient. We're running low on regional wealth because of it. I had to turn taxation off 
because of it. Now, luckily, it only takes out five gold a year, so it's not like I have to worry about it, I will say. Overall, I'm not upset with the game. Not one bit. I don't feel like I was cheated. Of course, I got the game for free uh, because it's a free demo. How are you doing, Tom Reese? Uh, but essentially, I think one of the biggest things he needs to work on is balancing how much trade is either consumed or how much trade is generated across the board. And I think he'll have some solid things to go off of there with. I think we've kind of hit our max. It's a Lionheart raid indeed. Hey guys, thank you so much, Lionheart. I appreciate it. Was Lionheart playing Mana Lords? And if he was, how well did he do? Joe Show, thank you very much for the follow. So yeah, overall, we were able to successfully feed people with three small fields. That's another thing to think about, where um, I was not putting a lot of people into it. Uh, and my granaries are always, always, well, except for this one, overflowing. So there's a lot to it. Uh, but yeah, like there's just so much that I have here. I have so much supplies that outside of fuel, I'm not really concerned about anything bad happening. I am just not. It says I'm low on fuel. I'm not low on fuel. It's, it's the load of bogus. Um, but yeah, we're doing really solid overall. And I'm not, again, I'm not upset at the game and how it's operating at the moment. One single bit. Of course, it just comes down to balancing. And I don't know how long Slavic anticipated people playing this. But uh, I feel like 260, we go much beyond that. I'm going to start tanking below like 20 something, <laughs> 20 something frames per second. So this is pretty much, I feel like the max that we can push the game to its limits. Um, I hope that makes sense. What time is it? It's 12 o'clock. But yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything you want to know or tips or tricks or anything like that, now's the time to ask. Or forever hold your peace. Lionheart said he was jealous of you seeing your village. Yeah, we did. I mean, we we did some really good things at the start. I think one of the best moves you can make is having, uh, getting your farms up and running ASAP. We did three farms with like five villagers and it wasn't hard uh, to manage stuff at all. Um, at that point, in fact, like we are overwhelmed with the amount of flour and stuff that we have. <laughs> it's a bit bonkers. Two and a half thousand flour. So, I mean, we could literally, we could, let's go ahead and do it. I mean, why not? We need another oven. Let's put an oven over here. Oh, I can't because that's a deposit. Uh, can I, is there, there's bread here. It's not what I want though. Let's build another thing here. Why not? Fuel, I think we're okay on, honestly, overall. We got plenty of logs going into storage. And they're working on the trading post. Oh, good. Kind of forgot about that trading post. But yeah, like I'm now going to do multiple trading posts to see if different goods get put in. But you can see here it's it's leather and it's ale. I wish I could limit the amount, I guess, would be a good way of explaining trade. I wish I could say, hey, well, I guess I could, right? I mean, I could do uh, leather. My target is, two fifty, or is 225. So that way, they'll only bring in enough to satiate that thing. Is the demo out? Absolutely is. Exclamation point demo, Sergeant Pepper. Uh, it is out for everyone to try. Hooded horse gave it to me early. I mean, I've I've had it. Because <laughs> I work for them. But uh, yeah, it's been going good. I do wonder if sheep will reproduce as well. That's another thing that I had a question about. Because it doesn't look like they really do. Which is a little bit of a bummer. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, so like if we did that, we did tools there. What else am I selling? 
ale. Like, I, I just want more variety of, of goods to be accessible through the trade. And I think that'll work. Building that. I do just kind of want to see now that I've limited the amount that the trading post will be able to afford. If we can start pushing things in other ways. But yeah, we've got a pretty good village here. We really do. Um, but that being said, guys, there are a couple of things that I want to try and get done today. Will the game be out at some point next year? I cannot speak anything on release dates, my friend. I will see y'all. I'll see y'all later, right? Yeah, I'll see y'all later.